cash on me Yeah, you know she capping on me Dread like that Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Rails, bro. Back at you guys again with another Ticket 21 video. And today I'm be showing you guys how to quick stop effectively now. I actually is that kind of crazy. I think it's my first time double uploading in forever, man. I'm trying to grind 2K21, man. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. I'm posting a lot of tutorials, glitches, and some funny videos and stuff like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But y'all know everybody's trying to learn how the dribbling is this year because it's kind of it's really different, man. I'm still trying to learn it. I'm constantly trying to bring out videos and how new stuff I learn. So make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel. And yeah, I'm saying to teach you guys how to quick stop. Now, quick stop in this year, bro, is low key kind of nerf. You still can quick stop, but it's nowhere near as like it used to be, bro. I used to be able to quick stop really good, but now it's kind of like it's kind of limited. But I'm still gonna show you guys how to do it. It's still better than nothing, man. Because when you're dribbling this year, when you try to stop your player to shoot, it's kind of hard because you can't quick stop. But I'm gonna show you guys a little method, especially if you're a shooter, this really should help you out. So it's kind of gonna be like a shooting tip and a dribbling tip. Alright man, so let's get into the video. Now before I start, I just want to go and show you guys my build just in case you guys are curious so you guys know like how my ball control and stuff like how my ball control and stuff is like. So I'm a six foot seven, basically a pure playmaker. I got an 86 ball control. Minimal wingspan. Now this might I don't know, like if you guys that have like the max uh pure playmaking, uh what's it called? The 95 uh ball control, it might be a little bit faster for you. But for me, this is kinda how it is. It's kinda fast, but it's nowhere near as fast as it used to be. Like I said, if you guys have a 95 ball control, it should low-key go faster because you guys have a higher ball control. I don't know for sure because I don't have a player that has that ball control. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the quick start right now, man. Alright, so first thing you want to go ahead and do, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about it. So it's really simple, honestly. You don't even need no, like, no controls on the screen or like that. It's hella simple. So all you want to go ahead and do, so let's say I'm dribbling to the right. I'm on 3 point I'm dribbling to the right. You can see in the gameplay, alright? If I'm dribbling to the right or left, so let's say I'm dribbling to the right. All you want to go ahead and do while I'm dribbling to the right, when you're ready to quick stop, all you got to do is tap L2. And as you guys see, I'm putting in slow motion right now. The dude should do like a little like slow motion stutter step, kind of like kind of like stop himself it's kind of steady him so i'm gonna show you guys how it is in slow motion you guys can tell how he's stopping himself and then i'm gonna show you guys like how it is in real time and basically you kind of you guys can go ahead and master this now the bad thing about this that i realized that you really can't quick stop that consistently because you're uh tapping uh, l2 so like when you're near like the paint like when you're near like the paint or mid-range it might like instead of like quick stop it might like make you post up so i kind of gotta let you guys know about that so this mainly right now is just like mainly it's like how to dribble around the three-point line so like I said, it could be different. Mike Blake could change like some of the settings or whatever, the sliders, whatever. He can change the dribbling. Hopefully he does change the dribbling because I'm not going to lie, looking bad this year, at least for me. But yeah, so I'm going to let you guys know. Mostly try to use this move around a three point or like the high mid range. This is really not going to work like when you're on like when you're near the paint or like you're near like uh, what's it called? Close shot range. It's going to make you do like that little posting you guys can see right now. It's going to make me do that little posting every single time I try to come over there, bro. So just stick around to the three point line high mid range. So yes, that's literally all you gotta do. I'm gonna explain it one more time just in case y'all didn't understand me. So like I said, if you're going to the left or right side, if I'm going left, all you wanna go ahead and do is just tap L2 and you're ready to stop. And then you can go shoot it, do whatever you want, but that should quick stop you, man. So like I said, I'm bringing you guys more videos this year. Make sure y'all stay subscribed and like, man. I'm bringing you guys more videos. Anyway, hope you guys like and enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that's tough.